Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to share a few of my ideas on how to plan for the Microsoft Power Platform Copilot which is currently in preview. Now I completely get it that there is so much excitement going on about Copilot in general which is, could be a Microsoft 365 or in Power Platform and you want to stay at the cutting edge of technology to help your company plan for the future. I completely get it. But at the same time, you want to do this in a very safe and secure manner. And so I'm going to show you these tips and tricks with you. So stick around. This is very important. But first, here's my intro video. So it's important that you and I both first look at this legal documentation which Microsoft themselves just provided in May 2023. In fact, by just I mean they just updated that in May 2023. And so right over here in this paragraph I want to show you. It says the previews of Copilot and other generative AI artificial intelligence features within Dynamics 365 and Power Platform services are powered by Azure Open AI services. Azure Open AI Services. And that is what the AOAI acronym stands for. And you're gonna start seeing hashtags of that very soon on social media. But now you and I know what that AOAI stands for. But let's continue reading a little bit. It says, your responsibilities. You acknowledge that AOAI previews can cause harm if implemented without appropriate mitigations. Also, capabilities. AOAI previews may be subject to usage limits or capacity throttling at further described in the production doc in the product documentation. And then finally, no production use. AOAI previews are experimental and are not intended to be used in production or a live operating environment, blah, 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 blah. So, so you completely understand now what I'm saying over here is that I'm not telling you stop using it. What I'm telling you is that jump into it because you want to test the copilot. Just do it in a cautious way because Microsoft themselves are telling you that, hey, this is a preview. So kind of be cautiously testing it, all right? So now that you and I are on the same page, I wanna share those tips and tricks with you. So my first suggestion is for those kind of companies that have multiple tenants. Multiple tenants means that you've got a development tenant, you've got a quality analysis or a quality acceptance testing, uh, and then you've got the production type of tenant. Uh, if you are one of them, then what you can do is go ahead and disable the Power Platform Copilot at a tenant level in your production tenant and then keep it available in your non-production one so that users can actually go and do some good testing over there. So for something like this, you need to be at least a global admin or a Power Platform admin to go into the Power Platform admin center and make these changes. So again, you need to be at least a global admin or a Power Platform admin, these two roles to do that. So let me walk you through this first scenario, all right? So I come in now, I'm a, I'm a Power Platform admin. I'm not a global admin, I'm a Power Platform admin. Um, and I go into my Power Automate. You can do this with the Power Apps as well. Once you are in there, regardless of which environment, you go into your settings, you go into the admin setting, and then in the admin setting, click on settings. And in the set admin settings, you can click on Copilot preview. And moment you select that, on the right, you get this option to go ahead and toggle it off. Now remember, this is a tenant level, which means that now all your other environments will no longer have this functionality to test Copilot. So again, remember, if this is for your production type of environment, you're one of those people who's got multiple tenants, then for your production in tenant, you wanna go ahead and disable this, but keep this on in your non-production one for some good testing that is going on, some good learning that is happening over here, all right? So this is the first scenario, if you are one of those customers. So suggestion number two are for those type of companies that all you have is just one tenant, that is it. That's what your company has. You are responsible for that. How do you go and manage it? So for something like that, you can now go and manage it at an environment level. In an environment, what you can do is you can go ahead and keep that enabled for one environment and give people access to the environment, but then disable that across all of the environments, especially the production ones. And I personally think that you need to even block it for the default one because in the default environment, everybody has access to. So that may not be a good place to have it turned on. Again, that's my personal opinion, but for keep one environment dedicated to this type of Copilot functionality and over there, let them go and do testing. So how do I do that? 
So again, I'm doing this as a power platform admin, even a global admin can go and do this. So you go in anyway, the power automate or power apps as one of those admins, and then go to the top right, click on settings, and then go to the admin setting, I mean admin center. Once you do that, you come into the PPAC, um, or it's called as Power Platform Admin Center, and then you go to your respective environments. Now this has to be done environment by environment level, because prior to this recording, I actually did some research to say, hey, can I find a you know, PowerShell command line to go ahead and disable this, and unfortunately, I could not. Um, hopefully, there might be some release on that, but either way, as of right now, especially even for my personal one, I had to do this environment by environment level. So let me show you what I did, all right? Uh, I had one dedicated one that I went ahead and created for my environment, all right? I went and did this, it's a sandbox type environment, uh, but that's the one where I do all the testing of my co-pilot, uh, you know, playing around. But for the other ones, like such as you know, for the production ones that I have, I'll actually take you away. I right away as a production one. I'll go and click on it. Once I'm either selected over here, I can go on the settings, or I can actually click on itself and I can go to the environment settings. Uh, after that, click on the settings gear, go to product, in the product, go to features, and right over there, you will see Copilot. Toggling that off will only toggle it at this environment level, which means, again, this is a production type of environment. I don't want any of this copilot functionality to show up or there. This is not a, that environment is not a, it's not a playground. So for each of those environments, like this is my scenario, I'll go and toggle this off. You do the exact same ones for your production type of environments. However, however, for that playground environment, the playground for copilot, go ahead and leave this on because this is where you wanna go ahead and start playing for it and start learning all of that, all right? So I am not discouraging you to do and disable this for everywhere, but I am telling you for the production ones, especially if you are a single tenant type of a customer, for production environments, you wanna to toggle this off and this will affect both. It will affect all your apps, It'll affect all your flows, which means power apps, power in fact. In fact, it'll affect even your power virtual agents as well. It takes care of it at that level, all right? Um, so I've shown you now how to go ahead and do this, turning it on at or turning it off at the environment level. Now what I wanna show you is how you can go ahead and enable this feature directly inside your apps, say a Power Apps Canvas app. So I'm inside the studio of my Power Apps Canvas app. I'm in a very good environment where I can actually go and do some testing. This is not my production app, which means I left the option for Copilot on. Now I wanna test it directly inside this Canvas app. So how do I do that? Well, I can now come inside my Canvas app settings, click on that, go to the upcoming features, scroll all the way to the bottom, and right over here you see the Copilot component, which means now I can toggle this one on and I will get the Copilot features directly inside my Canvas app to go and do all the playing around. I can also go and turn on the other one. There is the chatbot component, which is the Power Virtual Agents. I can go and turn that one on. Um, I can go ahead and even turn on trying out the modern controls. Like again, those all fall under the, upcom I mean, the upcoming features. Um, you know, there's three of them, but our focus directly is on the uh, Copilot. Once I've turned that on, now I should be able to just go and select in the insert section over there, um, and then I can just even go and do a search for Copilot, and just type in CO, and there you go, the Copilot preview directly comes inside, now available inside my Canvas app. And remember, this Canvas app is in the environment where I have the Copilot preview enabled. Now, as I showed you these three suggestions, one question you might have, and I'm glad you're thinking about that, is that, hey, does the tenant level go ahead and supersede the remaining two ones? And the answer to that is yes, and I'll prove that to you. So check this out, all right? We are back in my tenant over here. Uh, in my Power Platform Admin Center, um, I am in now in this one environment. This is my default environment, and over here I go to my settings, again I go to my prod, and I go into the features, and here I see Copilot functionality available. You see that over here, all right? Uh, so I'm just gonna go outside again, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back now to the tenant level setting. In my tenant level setting, I'm gonna select Copilot Preview, and now it is on by default, I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna click on Save, all right? I just did this, and I'm gonna go back now into our Power Platform Admin Center, go back into that environment that I'm in, go back to the settings, go back into the product, in the product we go to features, and in the features, you see Copilot disappeared. 
AI builder is there, but Copilot disappeared and I just showed you that. So that proves that the tenant level one is the Uber level setting. After that, if you turn that off, the environment events also will go ahead and disappear. While we are here, there's one more thing I wanna show you because we're talking about the overall power platform and Copilot, is when you go back to the tenant level setting, on the bottom, there's something called published bots with boosted conversation. So if I go and click on that, by default, the boosted conversation, again, which is the co-pilot functionality, and I've done a whole separate video on that, I'll put it in the description below, that feature is actually disabled by default. So if you wanna enable that and test it in, say, your non-production and uh, tenants, this is where you're gonna turn them on, all right? And there's all this you know, information about the supplemental preview terms, Go ahead and you know link, click on it, to read it if you're interested. But just keep in mind that for the PVA, it's a little different. Um, it is turned off by de default. Um, so in your non-production ones, you can go ahead and enable that. So in closing, I want to once again reiterate that this video is not discouraging you to use Copilot. In fact, I'm doing the opposite. I am giving you all the options available to test Copilot in a safe and secure manner by using the features and functionalities that Microsoft themselves have given you at either the tenant level setting or at the environment level setting and even at the app level setting. So go ahead and leverage into using the Copilot functionality. It truly is the next generation of AI made available to you at your fingertips. And I highly, highly encourage you to start using it in a safe and secure manner. And as always, keep using Microsoft Power Platform Copilot functionality. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.